Welcome to Eagle Tech Genius. You are listening to Eagle Waves Radio. My name is Peter Moriarty. I'm from IT Genius Australia. And my name is Belinda Luby from Digital Habitat. We are your hosts and at Eagle Tech Genius, we are helping the small business owners out there get the latest and greatest in techs, uh, tech tools and tips on how to grow their business using technology. We are joined in the studio by Miss Fiona Lewis from Super Savvy Business. How are you going, Fiona? Oh, I'm pretty good. Very happy to be back again. Welcome back. Good to have you. Welcome back. Very good to have you back. Now, Fiona, I know that you have just finished up a really exciting weekend. Tell us, what have you been up to? Look, I have a, a coaching program where I work with small to medium business owners, helping them with their online presence. So we had our weekend intensive, the Savvy Mastermind weekend intensive, and it was an amazing three-day weekend. We had a whole range of expert speakers, including yourself, <laughs> um, and it was it was just such a buzz. This is what I love doing is working with my clients and, and helping them to grow their business and talking about all the different strategies that they can implement. Awesome. And um, I understand there was also a, uh, a bit of an auction at the end of the weekend? There was. Uh, <laughs> one, of my, one of my big passions is supporting uh, the Sister to Sister Charity uh, Organization, which is a program which supports young teenage girls who are either neglected or, or abused. Um, and it's a fantastic mentoring program. So we, we'd had an auction actually on the, on the Sunday where all of our experts had pro- provided products or services to donate. And our, our clients were, rock, were bidding for those items, and we raised in the space of 20 minutes three and a half thousand dollars. Well done! Yeah, so it was really that was, that was yeah. so cool. It's, a, it's such a great cause as well. Yeah, it is. It certainly is, and I'm just I'm just so grateful both to our experts and to all the clients who were willing to get involved. Awesome! What a success! Now. Uh, we have you on the show to talk about uh, video marketing, but first, you know, we're, we're coming up to Christmas. It's coming to the end of the year. People are starting to make plans for 2014. What's, what's coming up over the horizon, Fiona? You're, you're in the, the marketing and the online content generation space. Tell us what's, what's around the corner and what should people be focusing on in 2014? Look, you know, there's a, I did actually do a presentation on this at our weekend intensive, and some of it is, a lot of it is the same. You know, we're, we're looking at the big, big focus on content marketing. We really can't take our eyes away from that. And video, of course, is one of those huge parts of content marketing, which is why we're going to be talking about that tonight. Interestingly, QR codes has come up. Uh, I know QR codes mm. came out, and people were interested about them. They were thinking, you know, what are these things? But then I think they sort of slid, and people were a bit confused. They didn't really know how to use them. But I think the interest is starting to pick up again. People are, are realizing you can be very creative. And uh, I, I used a case study, JC Penny. They actually created these QR codes where you can record a, a message to someone that you've bought a present for. And when they send them the package on Christmas Day, they scan the QR code and get to hear a message from the person who sent them the present. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wow. <laughs> How good is that? So wow. we, we went through a whole pile of case studies and, and looked at different ways to use QR codes. Uh, but that's one of the things that came up in the presentation. That's very cute. I like that one. <laughs> awesome. What, what else have you seen that's coming around the corner? What's, what's exciting? Look, uh, apart from content marketing, we've got video, we've got QR codes. Um, I'm just trying to think what else was in the presentation. You caught me off. off, off. <laughs> <laughs> because all, all that's in my head right now is video because this is what I've come in to talk about. So, But I know there's a blog post on the upcoming trends on your website, isn't there? Yes, there is. The presentation or the, the recording of the presentation. Well, yes, but there is a bit of a twist to that and in order for people to get uh, access to it. But we will talk about that perhaps at the end. Awesome, cool. So we're here to talk about video. Yes, we are. Fiona, what are you going to show us tonight? Look, I've come up with the seven pillars that make that make a quality video that you can use to generate traffic for your website. Now, video, I find, is one of the quickest and easiest ways to manage your content marketing. Because for me, to sit down in front of a camera for five minutes and talk, I can get so much more content out than if I sat down for half an hour, 45 minutes or an hour just to type. Mm, because when much you more engaging for the um, viewer as well. Yes, mm. exactly right. Mm. But people struggle with video because they don't really know how to make it engaging, what's going to work. So I've come up with these seven pillars of what you can do to make your videos fast and do it quickly and effectively that is going to engage your audience. Fantastic. 
So I guess, I mean, obviously the first thing you've got to come up with is good content, right? And uh, so that's obviously the first pillar. You've got to have content that is going to be relevant and and useful to your audience. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, I've got a whole pile of strategies you can use, which we can maybe talk about that another day. But we can't leave that out. Having the right type of content that is going to be interesting and useful, going to solve problems for your target market is Mm -hmm. really, really important. Awesome. From there, I guess it's having quality something a quality p- a piece of equipment to record your video with. Now, when I say quality, you might be surprised to know that you can get really good quality videos from something like an iPhone or an iPad. Or even I know people that are using iPad minis now. They just take those out and they're putting them up on pot plants when they're out and about wow. and using those to create videos because they're high definition and you can mm. get really, really good quality. Uh, so... Don't be afraid if you know if you haven't done videos before and you don't have a twenty thousand dollar camera. That's okay. You can use your i uh, smartphone. I'm uh, sorry, I do talk, tend to get a bit Apple fired sometimes. So when I talk about iPhones, I'm talking about smartphones in general <laughs> yeah. or any other tablet device. I'm sure they've all got the same type of quality. If you do want to take a step up, you know there's things like the Canon 60D, which is what I use and a lot of other online marketers are using. The reason why the Canon 60D is so good is it has a uh, like a monitor that you can turn around so you can actually see yourself and you know what it looks like mm. at the time of recording rather than when you use an iPhone and you find out your head's chopped up half, halfway, <laughs> half, halfway through. Um, so the Canon 60D is great. It's a really great, good recording device. And you can also actually buy a little... Um, Automated, uh, what's it called? Oh, like a remote control. Remote to control, start, start thank you. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can buy cool. even buy a remote control. So you you sit down in front of your camera, you make it autofocus, and you press go, and you're off. So you can actually do your videos without having anyone else in the room, which Perfect. is fantastic. It's funny um, that a simple camera can actually produce really great video. Like I've got an iPhone five, mm. and the video that's on the homepage of my website was shot on that uh, phone. Like, obviously, I've got a little tripod attachment for it, so it's nice and still and steady. And we did have to make sure that the light was really good. Um, But, you know, it was easy to shoot a professional-looking video just with, you know, with a smartphone. And that means it's so easy now to produce that content. Exactly. That's how good technology is becoming. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm. I will say, though, that if you are going to use something like an iPhone, uh, you do need a couple of little things, and you just mentioned one of them, good lighting. We'll talk about that in a moment. But sound is my third pillar. You've got to make sure you've got good sound. There's nothing worse. You know, you're on YouTube, you're trying to watch a video that's got good content, but there's nothing worse than the sound being muffled or not being clear. So if you are going to use um, something like an iPhone, then you can purchase something called a Rode Smart Lav, which is a microphone that comes with an app, um, and it's only about $60. So it's a really cheap little add-on that is going to ensure that the sound quality of your video from your iPhone is really good. Um, uh, the other alternative, um, if you are using another type of, like a like a Canon 60D, I started off with a cheap lapel mic that I bought on eBay, which was between 20 to $40. So... You don't need to spend huge amounts of money to get a great result. Uh, if you really want to go top of the range, then there's something called the Sennheiser Wireless Mic, yep. which they're around six to $800, depending on where you go shopping. But so that's obviously a professional-level microphone. Yeah, look, yeah. If, if, if you're doing videos all the time and it's part of a big part of your business, then maybe you might want to upgrade to that. But yeah. certainly for most people, you can get started for as little as 20 to $60 to get that really good quality professional sound. Great. So um, we've got our sound right, we've got our camera right. Of course, you just mentioned, Peter, the lighting. The lighting is incredibly important. And I guess this is one thing you really... you really just can't forget about. Uh, If you are going to be doing your videos inside, then I highly recommend that you do get some sort of proper lighting system. Don't just use the lights that are in the roof or in the lighting coming from the windows because it's it's going to cause shadows. It's not going to give you enough sort of um, feature on your face yeah um but so how, how tricky is it to get like a, a lighting system that's easier to set up in your office or to take on location with you look i bought mine my my one from ebay once again a good yep. old ebay and i bought it for i think 150 to 200 dollars oh, and that gave me bad. the three big box lights yep the only problem with is where you do, where do you store them? So, <laughs> you know, you've just got to make sure you've got somewhere to store them. They do do sort of compact a little bit, but you've got to make sure you've got a corner or a room somewhere to pop these lights. But once again, like the microphones, they're not overly expensive. But 